So, are you going to release an unfinished, buggy game with no content, but the systems are in place on Steam Greenlight? Hmm, let me think about this for a moment. Hmm. On the one hand, if I try to release it on Steam Greenlight, it has to be approved. So if I make something that is woefully low on the thing... What? Are you not running? Not running. You should really be running. There we go. So if I would make something woefully unfinished onto Steam, that shows that Steam standards are really low. On the other hand, if it doesn't make it on there, then I will feel like crud because I put out this great project that I had been working on for a long time, and now it's crap. I mean, it currently is crap, but that doesn't have anything to do with it. I'm just really excited to be start building content and to be making the thing properly and to have lots of good times with it and to make everything that I want to make. And I'm not holding back anything at all. Not today, anyway. Maybe tomorrow. I forgot the sponges! Son of a monkey's fat sack! I went all the way back so I could get some sponges and then, nope, let's just drop off some supplies. Yeah, there's a psychological phenomena where whenever you go through a door, your brain resets. And it resets in such a way that you can't remember what you were thinking before because you're doing something completely different now. Same Clayland. I did not put... Wait. Location... Nope. I need to put the location of my thing on the map. Where is my bed? Is it over here? Dio, you're making a game? Yes. I have been making a game for some time now. In fact, I've been making various versions of this game for so long that I have been spending too much time with it, and I've been trying to make what I want to make multiple times, and when you know that you want to make something, and you have an idea of how it should be, but you don't know what you want to make, it can be hard to find what you want to make, because the thing that you... Oh, no sponges. There we go. The thing that you want to make is not necessarily the thing that you end up making. It's like my dream project that I've been wanting to make for quite a long time. Even before I even started working on Minecraft. Or mods, or like... I haven't had the idea for quite a while. I've been pulling bits and pieces of things to put it together. And I hope it turns out well. If not, I will learn from it and I will probably make the thing again. Because this is something I would want to get right. And I can take the experience that I've gotten out of making mods or making games and putting it into my next project. And I'll just keep refining it, keep trying to make something interesting, or maybe I'll make something new. Uh, I've been making enough of the lore that I should be hi, capable of making a lot of different types of stories and games inside this world in the future. It's not something I want to give up on. I want to keep going with it. It's like I've actually made something that I feel might be worth keeping around. And you're being weird, water. Can Steam can go lower than the Ark Survival early release DLC that cost more than the unfinished game. I believe Ark itself is discounted and has been for a while. And honestly, it was only a matter of time before DLC and early access met. Uh, the early access DLC for Ark appears to be pretty good. The problem is that people don't want to be paying for an add-on for something that isn't finished. And that unfinished product is 
already on Steam, so they blame Steam for letting it up on there. And early access is kind of a, a silly thing to have. It's not like you're building a game when you have something like Ark. No, you're building a whole experience and you're building a whole world. It's like Minecraft when it was early on. It's like, yeah, this is a game. Now we're gonna add more to the game. It's like beta versions of Minecraft. Minecraft wasn't really technically done because the creators felt like they weren't done with it. But you could still sell it and it would still be a worthwhile experience and a worthwhile project. A lot of people had a ton of fun with Minecraft, especially people on YouTube, like early Minecraft stuff. People would make uh, all kinds of videos about how things went there and it's like the experience was a worthwhile one, even if the game was unfinished. It's like Space Engineers in that regard. Space Engineers came out as a full release on Steam, but it could have just as easily been an early access one, because the early access part of Space Engineers is they're still building the game, but it's the kind of game where you build for a long period of time in a sandbox world, and you continue making the game more better. You put more toys in the sandbox, you put different things in there. But Minecraft still isn't done. Even though it officially released some time ago, it's not like the development cycle for Minecraft changed. <laughs> no Man's Sky, the game that has less content than Minecraft at release. Well, Mine No Man's Sky is a different marketing strategy for the same kind of game. I believe. I haven't played No Man's Sky. I've heard uh, too many people bought into the hype, and I figure No Man's Sky is like Minecraft, so it might be good right now, it might not be. I don't particularly want to go fly around and visit different planets and go to space all the time, but there's gonna be people who like that. Like early on in Minecraft, I didn't particularly like picking up all the blocks and putting them in different places because there wasn't a whole lot to do with the blocks other than I'm gonna build a castle or I'm gonna build another castle or I'm gonna build a castle because we have cobblestone <laughs> but as it got later on into the game as we got more mods we got more content heck the base game itself improved enough that we have a great time with just Minecraft we don't need mods if we don't want to You remember when they added hunger? You were super pissed. I believe that they always intended to add hunger, but it was added in such a way that it wouldn't make sense from a hunger standpoint. Like, it used to be that food inside Minecraft would go directly into your health bar, and there are mods that bring that back from time to time. Uh, I'm really tempted to play in a world with uh, keep inventory on and the hunger change disabled on 1.6 because I don't know if there's any mods that would put hunger back to ye old alpha times It's not actually ye that you actually pronounce that word the the old alpha times Speaking of mods, would you ever consider a terraria playthrough with mods? The answer to that is yes. I would definitely consider playing through Terraria with mods. In fact, I was going to play Terraria with mods once I got done with the hardcore runs. Which may or may not be soon. I want to get a little bit further into Terraria before I start uh, considering. Or, I want to get frustrated with the hardcore runs enough that I don't want to consider playing it anymore. But right now, I feel like I'm on the cusp of being able to move forward and being able to, well, be able to live inside a hardcore expert world. World, world, world mod thing, ah. I see Fire Dingo is of the impression that No Man's Sky was an unfinished game on launch. I happen to agree with that statement. 
Just like, uh, I mean, Terraria was pretty good when it came out. But if you went back now and compared Terraria's amazing gameplay that feels like it's polished and finished all the way up to the end to the first version, it's like there's no contest. The first version of Terraria was a good finished game. The latest version of Terraria is an amazing, very well polished finished game. Although, I think the Dungeon Defenders update added something to Terraria that didn't need to be in there. Like the defense mode? But that's okay. It's sort of like having a mod inside Terraria. A little bit of distraction, fun time, and... This is an event that you do something different for. So it's like, yeah, the game was finished, and now they're getting into post-finished game content, because games are never really finished. You can work on them forever and ever and ever. But sometimes you have to say enough is enough. And with Minecraft, I think that point was 1.5. With Terraria, I think that point was 1.3.3. And we're at version 1.3.4, so we've gone a little bit too far. But so long as they don't go too far off the deep end, I will continue to say that Terraria is an amazing game that is well polished and quite refined. In fact, the new content that they added is still pretty good. It's just not quite like Terraria. Will the multiplayer series continue? Um, I don't know. I find it hard to do multiplayer versions of anything. Because you have to organize with people, and if one person doesn't want to play a game one day, then... It's like, they have to be dedicated to it, and you just pull it up at random. People aren't going to be dedicated. So maybe at some point in the future. Maybe. Whoop. Game? Game? Oh, you froze. Uh, you unfroze. Good. Now everything is lacking like crud. Let's go find my bed. Also, I'm running out of food. The defense mode was a demo for other world style gameplay. Oh! So Terraria is adding content and features from their next game as a sort of promotional material. And that makes sense. Yeah, so they're using the game that exists right now as an advertisement for the next one. Although the game itself is finished and polished, they're trying to get people hyped up for the the content of the next one by essentially putting in a demo into the game. But they're doing it in such a way that if you don't like what you've got, you can just ignore it and continue on with the rest of it. I was super excited for streaming today. I was super excited to go off and do the thing. It's like, I'm gonna play Minecraft, I'm gonna talk about everything that's been going on, I'm gonna talk about my game, I'm gonna go do this and that and this and that, and I'm gonna be like super hyper voice all the time. Yeah, 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 gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. But uh, <laughs> it's not a level of energy that I can sustain for long periods of time. It's why a lot of my streams are laid back. It's like, well, yeah, I you want to go do this and that, we're going to have a, a good time, we're going to go do it at a nice reasonable pace of let's go over here and we'll have fun with it. Where trying to sustain a high level of energy all the time is, I think the best word for that is draining. It's not a, a level that I usually work with, so... It's outside my norm, so I have to put effort into making the level of energy higher. And I do like generally higher level than my normal experience in the world, because most of the time I'm like, yeah, this is fine. Let's just go do something over here. I'm going to go eat some food. I'm going to make some game stuff. I get excited every once in a while, but I'm usually pretty laid back. Whereas pretty laid back inside a stream can be relaxing. But I like engagement. I like talking with people. I like to have people... Well, it's the reason I do streaming instead of just making videos for YouTube most of the time. So I could just go make all the videos. I could go have all the content and just play 
Minecraft for hours at a time and go, yeah, this is fine. But I really like talking to people. You could have everyone else do shenanigans while you build. I've thought about having a Terraria public server going, hey, everybody, get on here. We're going to do stuff. And maybe at some point I'll do that. Minecraft too, but Minecraft... Problem with Minecraft public servers like, hey, let's get on the stream. Now I'm going to follow MDIO around. Now I'm going to go wreck stuff because I want attention. There's nothing better that you control than a bunch of people on a stream actually doing stuff together. Yeah, I ruined your life. Uh. <laughs> Needless to say, I've had some bad server experiences. Oh, like the last time I had a Terraria public server, somebody put blocks in the shape of a penis on the place where you load into the world. It's like, yeah, that's great. What are you doing? <laughs> That's the thing. It's not water I'm doing. The water is going away. So I'm watering doom. Rather, I'm anti-watering the doom. Mostly the doom is I'm going to collect this landscape and leave a giant stone mess afterwards. Or not even a mess. Sometimes it's perfectly smooth. Here's a glassy land shape that's been shaped by a bunch of volcanoes that erupted. And just so happened to only erupt in a very small area in this specific part. You know, there's a bunch of them and they're very small. Which is why parts of the world are taken out and yet some of them are shaped like a, a line. It's like, this is exactly the line that it took to blow up the world. You could likely make a server but never be able to plan it unless you could somehow. And Daya would be willing to drag you around when you AFK randomly. Hey, if you want to go away and eat a bunch of pudding, who am I to stop you from eating pudding? Man, if I had pudding just given to me, I would be interrupting this this particular stream a whole lot more like yeah I've got pudding now uh, back in five minutes five minutes later yeah somebody else gave me pudding so I'll be back again five minutes later well now I've got a whole mountain of pudding so the stream's over for today thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time <laughs> the clay itself I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it the regular stained clay I'm also not sure what I'm going to do with it Probably turn the stained clay into orange clay or red clay or whichever one was for my sky bridge The colored clay that's coming out of the Badlands is going on my sky bridge though That's what I decided to make the thing out of so I needed the regular stained clay for something else. Oh I know what it was. It was the wall Did I save the patterns for the wall? I don't remember Hi, Chocobo. So there was a sandstone wall that I was going to make as one of the four walls on my perimeter for my instead conquering the entire world place. What the heck is this? Oh, hey, a cave. Caves don't generate through stained clay. Cool. Hi, clay. Or hi, cave. I'll get to you later. What's the sky bridge being used for? Um, uh, uh, it's being used to transport goods from one side of the map to the other. Yes, it's totally being used for a useful infrastructure project and not just because I want to build a sky bridge. I swear this is a true fact. I also swear that I am not lying and there's no video evidence that can prove otherwise. <laughs> <laughs>